Good Thursday morning. Welcome to the Beamish Blogcast. June 30th, 2016. Gray and damp out there this morning. We'll see scattered showers and thunderstorms continue this afternoon and tonight. 86 your forecast high, although that may be a little bit optimistic. That cloud cover is really hanging tough out there this morning. Low 70s for your nighttime lows. Here's Doppler radar, top of the 9 o'clock hour. Seeing light to moderate rain redeveloping across portions of Pinal, Pima, Santa Cruz, and Cochise counties activity is lifting up to the north at around 5 to 10 miles per hour. Let's take you down to street level here and anywhere you see the pockets of yellow that indicates some light to moderate rain that is falling at the moment. Anywhere from the southwest side up to central Tucson, northeast side in the southern half of metro Tucson. This may be a good thing because it could limit the flooding potential that we were talking about during Tucson today. That cloud cover hanging tough, not seeing a ton of sunshine, so we may get the shower hours maybe just not the thunderstorms this afternoon. This is all being fueled by a low pressure center that's trapped between two domes of high pressure to our west and east. And we talked about this pattern, the trapping high pattern a few days ago. It's come to fruition and that's what's fueling these showers and thunderstorms as we're heading into the next several hours. Here's Futurecast, continuing scattered showers, a couple of rumbles of thunder as well through the afternoon, nighttime hours. Tomorrow, first half of the day, scattered showers and storms continuing, about a 50% chance and then after lunchtime, some drier air moving in from the west, and that'll decrease the thunderstorm potential across southern Arizona. Here's a look at your forewarn extended forecast. 60% chance of showers and storms today, down to 50% for the first half of your Friday, and then drying out and heating up for 4th of July weekend. We're up to 103 on the 4th, plenty of sunshine, and possibly some of those isolated storms returning the middle of next week. Again, we'll keep our eyes on the flooding potential. So far, so good on that with the washes and streams. Cloud cover is helping take some bite out of the activity today thus far. Thanks for logging on. Catch you on the TV side today for News 4 Tucson at noon.